Today we will cover the installation of the MC Performance Rear Disc Brake Kit for the GM 7.5 inch 10 bolt rear head. To do this you'll need a hammer, flathead screwdriver, drum brake spring pliers, an 8mm wrench, a shop magnet, a 7 16 wrench, a 3 8 Allen socket, a 15 16 wrench, 10mm wrench, 11mm wrench, 13mm wrench, 22mm wrench, an angle grinder, a drain pan, and RTV silicone. Please note that MCP hard lines must be used with stainless steel brake hose for this kit to work. Step 1 is to remove the drum. Next, using a pair of drum brake spring pliers, remove all the springs from the drum. Next, using a hammer and punch or screwdriver, bend the tabs that secure the locking ring which holds the wheel cylinder into the axle. This should allow you to remove it. Now remove the 22mm nut on the back side of the axle flange. This will allow you to remove the anchor plate and the wheel cylinder. Next, using a 13mm socket wrench or impact driver, remove the 10 bolts that hold the differential cover on the housing. Be sure to have a drain pan underneath the differential to catch all the gear oil. Next, using an 8mm socket, remove the cross bolt from the cross pin inside the rear differential. and remove the cross pin from the differential. Push the axle in to unseat the C-clip so that you can remove it with a magnet. Next, remove the axle, the remainder of the drum brake components, and the backing plate. Now using an angle grinder to clearance the back portion of the axle flange so that the MC Performance brake bracket sits flat on the back side of the flange. Here you can see what proper fitment looks like. Now install the brake bracket using the provided hardware.
Next, reinstall the axle and C-clip. Now install the rotor onto the axle. Now install the caliper onto the bracket. Make sure the pads are fully seated and the piston is pushed all the way back. Install the slider bolts and tighten down with a 3 8 inch allen. Once the calipers are installed, attach your brake hoses to the calipers and the MC Performance Hardline, if purchased. If you are using the stock line, shorten and reflare as needed. You'll also need to place a bead of silicone on your differential cover and reinstall. Finally, bleed the brakes ensuring that there is sufficient fluid in the master cylinder and continue until there is no air coming out of the bleeder. And you're all done. Thanks for watching.